The psychology of the serial killer is intriguing yet frightening. There is no concrete theory to explain neither the psychology nor the actions of serial killers. However, there are a great deal of criminologists researching the topic. These researchers are attempting to better understand and deter such crime. Join us today on Monsters and Myths to examine six serial killers who were never caught. Viewer discretion is advised. Perhaps the most infamous serial killer was Jack the Ripper, who stalked the impoverished streets of Whitechapel in the so-called Autumn of Terror in 1888. We'll be covering the crimes of Jack the Ripper in another documentary. So today, let's take a look at six other serial killers who also remained at large and were never identified or captured. The Zodiac Killer, or simply Zodiac, is the pseudonym of an unidentified American serial killer who operated in Northern California from at least the late 1960s to the early 1970s. The killer originated the name in a series of taunting letters and cards sent to the local Bay Area press. He murdered five known victims in Benicia, Vallejo, Napa County and San Francisco respectively between December 1968 and October 1969. He targeted young couples, with two of the men surviving attempted murder. He also murdered a male cab driver. The Zodiac himself once claimed to have murdered 37 victims. Suspects have been named by law enforcement and amateur investigators, but no conclusive evidence has surfaced. The San Francisco Police Department marked the case inactive in April 2004, but reopened it at some point prior to March 2007. The case remains open. The Long Island serial killer, also called the Craigslist Ripper, is an unidentified suspect serial killer who is believed to have murdered 10 to 16 people over a period of nearly 20 years, mostly prostitutes, and left their bodies in areas of the south shore of Long Island, New York. The victims were found along the Ocean Parkway and the area of Jones Beach State Park the remains of four victims were found in December 2010, while six more sets of remains were found in March and April 2011. On May 9, 2011, authorities surmised that two of the newest sets of remains might be the work of a second killer. However, on November 29, 2011, the police stated their belief that one person is responsible for all 10 deaths. Numerous suspects and persons of interest are under police investigation. On January 16, 2020, Suffolk County Police released images of a belt found at the crime scene with the letters HM or WH, depending on which way the belt was looked at, embossed in the black leather. The belt was found during the initial investigation near Ocean Parkway. Police believe this belt was handled by the perpetrator and did not belong to any of the victims. Anyone with any information should get in touch with Suffolk County Police. The investigation is still ongoing. It is hoped that the police can bring to justice the perpetrator of these terrible crimes. For now, the case remains unsolved. The monster of Yudin was an unidentified serial killer who killed at least four victims 
in the province of Udine, in northeastern Italy, between 1971 and 1991. The official number of murders attributed to the monster of Udine is four, although there may have been up to 16. The victims were found with a gaping incision in their abdomen, cut and cleaned with extreme care, most likely with a scalpel or something similar. The incision of the cut is very close to that of a caesarean, which convinced police that the killer was a doctor. However, police have never had any real leads in the case. No suspect has ever been positively identified, and the perpetrator of these heinous crimes remains at large. The Eastbound Strangler, also called the Atlantic City Serial Killer, is an unidentified serial killer believed to be responsible for the murders of four women near Atlantic City, New Jersey, in 2006. A $25,000 reward offered for information has gone unclaimed since 2015. Four dead bodies of women identified as prostitutes were found in a drainage ditch filled with shallow water on November 20, 2006, behind the Golden Key Motel on the Black Horse Pike, situated on the outskirts of Atlantic City, New Jersey. All of them were placed face down in a row facing east, about 60 feet apart from each other. They were clothed except for having their shoes and socks removed they were believed to have been strangled to death. There was thought to be a possible connection to the Long Island serial killer, but investigators later ruled it out, and the case remains open and unsolved. The Doodler is an unidentified serial killer believed to be responsible for up to 16 murders and three assaults of men in the LGBT community of San Francisco, California, between 1974 and 1975. The nickname was given due to the perpetrator's habit of sketching his victims prior to their slayings by stabbing. The perpetrator met his victims at gay nightclubs, bars, and restaurants. It is believed that the doodler killed between 5 and 16 people. A consistent method used in the killings was the stabbing of victims in the front and back of their bodies in similar locations. All of the victims were white male. The suspect was described as a man between 19 and 25 of African descent. He was about 6 feet tall with a slender build. Police questioned a young man as a murder suspect in the case, but could not proceed with criminal charges because the three surviving victims did not want to out themselves by testifying against him. Among the stabbing survivors were a well-known entertainer and a diplomat. The suspect never admitted his guilt for the murders or attacks. Officers stated they strongly believed that the man in question was responsible for the crimes but he was never tried or convicted because of the survivor's refusals to appear in court. To date, the suspect never has been named publicly or apprehended. Very little information is available about the crimes. The Phantom of Heilbronn, often referred to as the woman without a face, was an unknown female serial killer whose existence was inferred from DNA evidence found at numerous crime scenes in Austria, France and Germany from 1993 to 2009. The six murders included that of a police officer. The only connection between the crimes was DNA, which as of March 2009 had been recovered from 40 crime scenes ranging from murders to burglaries. In late March 2009, investigators concluded that the Phantom did not exist 
and the DNA recovered at the crime scenes had already been present on the cotton swabs used for collecting DNA samples. They belonged to a woman who worked at the factory where they were made. As a consequence of this severe case of contamination with human DNA in a series of forensic investigations, the International Organization for Standardization published new standards and requirements for producing consumables free of human DNA. As of August 2020, the crimes attributed to the Phantom remain open and unsolved. Thank you for joining us today on Monsters and Myths. What do you think about the cases discussed today? Please leave your thoughts and comments below. Murder is a terrible crime. Life is a precious thing, but perhaps by understanding the darkness, we can move towards the light. Our thoughts go to the victims and their families of all of the terrible crimes featured today. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves and take it easy.